This is question 17. Here I'm told that a field is in the shape of a rectangle. Then I'm told that the width of the field is 28 metres, measured to the nearest metre. And I'm asked to work out the upper bound of the width of the field. Now, working out upper and lower bounds is fairly straightforward. To work out the upper bound, all I have to do is take my value that I've got, which is the width is 28, and then I take the degree to which it has been measured to. So here it's been measured to the nearest meter, so the nearest one meter. And what I do is I take 28 and add to it the degree by which it has been measured to, so the nearest one meter, and I divide that by two. So the upper bound is going to be 28 plus one divided by two, or 28.5 meters. Uh, it doesn't ask me to do this, but just to so that you kind of get the idea, to work out the lower bound for something, you would simply do the value that you're given, 28, minus the degree to which it has been measured, which is 1, and divide that by 2. So my lower bound would be 28 minus 0.5 for 27.5. Okay. Obviously, I'm only asked for the upper bound, but just to kind of demonstrate the method by which you can figure out the upper and lower bounds for things, I've just shown both. But 28.5 is my answer for part A. For part B, I'm asked to work out the upper bound for the perimeter of the field, given that the length of the field is 145, measured to the nearest 5 metres. So, for my, in order to work out the upper bound of the perimeter of the field, I'm going to need to work out what the upper bound for the length was as well. So, the upper bound for the length, using the same idea as above here, I'm going to take the value that I've been given, 145, and for the upper bound, I'm going to add the degree to which it has been measured, so the accuracy to which it has been measured, which is the nearest 5 metres, and then I'm going to divide that by 2. So 145 plus 5 divided by 2, which is 2.5, and that's going to give me 147.5. Again, uh, it has a, I don't need to work out the lower bound here, but if I were trying to work out the lower bound, I would just take 145 and subtract 5 divided by 2. Okay, so it's asked me to work out the perimeter. So what I'm talking about here is a field where I've got a width of 28.5. and It's a rectangular field. So I've got a width of 28.5 and a length of 147.5 or and, and just to be clear here, this is the higher, this is the longest that the width could be, and this length here is the longest that the length could be. And all that I now need to do to work out the perimeter is I'm just going to have to add all of the sides together. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to do 28.5 plus 28.5 and 147.5 plus 147.5 and add them all up. So working this out, uh, I'm just going to say that this is two times. 147.5 plus 2 times 28.5 and so that gives me a perimeter of 352 meters so my final answer for part b is going to be that the upper bound for the perimeter is 352 meters